A few weeks back, I traveled to the UAE and had to do a seven day quarantine, locked in a hotel with nothing but my MacBook Pro and one of the loudest keyboards on the planet. Well, it's not the keyboard per se, it's the keys. These are Cherry MX Blues sitting beneath the Ducky Mecha Mini. Tactile and really clicky. Now when it comes to keyboards, I find that the clickier those keys, the better. At least that's what I thought until I opened up this. This is the Varmillo Mia Maya 68 Summit. And sitting below these pretty PBT caps are Cherry MX Silent Reds. Short activation travel, silent. I thought the silent meant mushy, but after typing on this for a while, <laughs> I was way wrong. There is still a very tactile feel to the activation. It is nowhere near the clickety clackiness you get with those blues, but it's miles away from something like uh, the keyboard that Dell provides with their pre-builds. Now this is a collaboration between Taiwanese keyboard company Ducky and Chinese keyboard artist Marmillo. Marmillo is known for their themed keyboards and it may not be for everyone, but I sure as heck like it. The close to pastel colors used here are a nice change of pace from the typical black with RGB on gaming keyboards. I gotta tell you, this has actually made me a better player in CSGO, honestly. Now, this is most likely due to the difference in the switches. The blues have a higher activation force and I think that this has caused my movements to be more aggressive. With the reds, it's easier to hover right at that activation point. Now, it's got 1.9 millimeters of pre-travel compared to the blues 2.2 and that means smoother movements, for me at least. Now, it doesn't seem like much of a difference, but man, it gave me a significant boost in accuracy. Now, I wanted to see if this spilled over into typing, and sure enough, I saw a noticeable increase in my words per minute when using these reds. Back to the keyboard. I'm keeping it. I'm not sending this one back. The mountain theme doesn't mesh with anything I have in my room, but that doesn't matter. It's just too good looking, and I can't stop staring at it. A quick warning to anyone thinking that this 68 keyboard may be good for travel, it's not because it is heavy. This is better left on your desk and if a minimalist look is what you're going for, this thing has got it in spades. It's got feet to raise up the position, connects via USB-C and includes a keycap puller. I prefer the 65% layout like this when compared to something like the Mecha Mini because it has those arrow keys, something I find I'm looking for when using that smaller form factor. The keycaps do not have lit characters on top. In fact, the only LED that can be seen other than from the switches is on the optional caps lock and the fish? fish cap to help identify when those are active. There is front facing labels for function keys like F1 through F12, as well as things like scroll lock, home, and various other keys. These can be accessed using the uh, tent key, as well as the compass key on the left. These compasses here are typically where the windows key is located. So in theory, they will also take you home. Due to the location of the LEDs on the switches, only the bottom half of the keys are lit. It is also worth noting that there are several colors on this particular keyboard, and the light that shines through varies with the darker colors. The darkest being, oddly, white. Keep in mind, this is not an RGB keyboard. There will be no rainbows rolling across these keys, only five different levels of LED brightness. The fit and finish on this is second to none. There is minimal flex and absolutely no creaky, crunchy sounds found in budget keyboards. The increased weight helps keep it firmly in place. It also has nice rubber pads on the bottom. That is a concern when using a smaller keyboard like this. The keycaps have a semi-textured finish, which aids in grip and are concave enough to keep your fingers finding the center of each key when typing quickly. There is a mountain on the space bar. You have some mountains up on the backspace key. I do like that the escape is red with a flame on it. And there's other little nods to the wilderness and camping, mountain climbing, all that stuff found throughout this entire keyboard. You can see the mountain theme carries over onto the back, which obviously you're not gonna be seeing that much, but it is pretty cool to have it there. This keyboard has some weight to it and you can definitely feel it when you pick it up. It feels like it's heavier than even a full-size keyboard like the Razer Huntsman I have back there. The keycaps are extremely high quality, so you're probably not gonna have to worry about those wearing out, as well as the switches, they're cherries, so they're gonna last through millions of activations. The housing, keeping everything together, is extremely sturdy. You don't have to worry about that cracking or breaking down over time. And overall, this thing is gonna last you. It's, it's more of an investment. You're gonna keep it around for a while. 
Now themed keyboards like this do come at a premium price tag, but if this is something that you're looking for, it is a worthwhile investment. It's gonna last you for a long time. Now this keyboard is available with a bunch of different switches like the Cherry Speed Silvers, Blues, Browns, Blacks, as well as the Silent Reds I have here. You can find all of these options at Store974. There you can try out each of the switches in person. Now that's something I highly recommend doing before deciding what switches are right for you. Now if you do find yourself at Store974 or on their website, use code BARTMANSBITS to get a 3% discount. 3% of your purchase will also go towards helping this channel. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm keeping this keyboard. I love it. I love the sound of it. I love typing on it. If you like it too, go ahead and pick one up yourself. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.